Hi, my name is Joe Flanagan. Uh, I am the chairman and CEO of Acquire Legion, and I am thrilled to have my friend David Fisher, David F with me. Uh, I call him D Fish, all his good friends, D Fish. And, and uh, D Fish, so glad to have you join me. Um, um, as I was just reminding myself, not only are you a sales stud and leader, uh, but you're a business coach. Uh, to a lot of uh, businesses who are particularly working on more efficient and effective sales, author, uh, regular speaker, um, and in, if I can embarrass you, a recent Hall of Fame, Sales Hall of Fame inductee. So, thank uh, you. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. You make me blush. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You. And that's not easy to do. But, uh, D Fish, um, <laughs> just a couple ideas today. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, as, as people are in this COVID thing, uh, how are companies positioning their sales? We've seen a change in the last handful of months, and I know we got another handful of months to go here. What's what are you what are you hearing from companies as they're preparing for um, what they've been through and what they're going to go through? Yeah, I think what's really interesting to see now that you know we're recording this you know over nine months into the pandemic. Uh, even at the beginning, I didn't see necessarily a huge change in how we sold as much as an acceleration of some existing trends. The, the move towards digital communication, whether it's, it's video calls and Zoom or using LinkedIn or just using technology to make the sales process more efficient, that was already there. But the, the fact that everybody had to jump in the deep end I think really moved the, the process along. And we probably did about uh, five to 10 years in five to 10 months uh, as far as adoption. And I do think that you know, there's an end in sight, whether that's in Q2, Q3, Q4 of 2021, but we're not gonna go back to the, the old ways. Um, I really think we're gonna see a integration of the in-person and of these digital tools. Uh, McKinsey just came out with a survey that showed that over 80% of companies, uh, or excuse me, buyers and companies like this new process, like having the digital um, engagement. They want to have a little in-person up front, but then they're totally fine with doing this. And so if buyers want that, I think we as sellers have to really pay attention to that. And you so I, I think it's really looking forward. Yeah. You know what I found is that I definitely found people's calendars more available, right? I mean, not only are people that are, you know, at higher levels in organizations not traveling, that makes them more available, but the sellers, yep. the sales, we're not traveling either. So, I mean, you've got some, some opening of calendars that's been pretty helpful. A hundred percent. Just recently, I had a day where I had a call with somebody in India, Mexico, Ireland, uh, Highland Park, Illinois, and a, a leadership team that was spread around the country in one day, and I didn't leave my, my office. Uh, that's incredibly powerful. Now, I do think we're going to get back to some of that in person, but the in person is going to be at the high leverage points, right? Whether it's early in a relationship or going to a conference, it's not just going to be, hey, I've got to travel to uh, Cleveland to meet with uh, the, the vice president of marketing it's going to be much more strategic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I used to fly to New York probably f three, four five times a year and I have you know, one anchor meeting and then lots of other touches who were of, of mm -hmm. clients and, and former clients. And I don't know if we'll get back to that, but um, it'll be interesting. Hey, uh, D Fish, um, we always talk about attitude and the importance of attitude. Are you, are you mm -hmm. seeing people stressed, um, as they as as we're, we're lapping into the new year, I mean, uh, how you manage yeah. your own attitude? Yeah, you know, do I see people who are stressed? Well, I don't see a lot of people, but I see myself in the mirror, and yeah, I'm stressed. So you're seeing uh, son Liam. Yeah, it's been a tough year. Yeah, and my my son Liam, who's who's the the bright the bright part of the day. You know, attitude is so important in our in our sales roles because. We're dealing with, you know, obviously the, the rejection and the uncertainty in a normal capacity, but obviously this year there's all of that times 10. Um, one of the things I found has been really valuable for me is that even before all this, 
you know, I've done a lot of work in, in, and we've had this conversation about mindfulness or some of the, the self-awareness tools that we can use, meditation and, and stuff that used to seem kind of like, oh, that's a little weird, but it's been such a powerful um, uh, tool in my own life. And actually a lot of the people I work with, the conversations I'm having are looking at ways to maintain that, that mental health in the, the face of adversity, in the face of uncertainty, and it's, it really becomes, a, a, I find, a force multiplier. You know, the ability to step back a little bit and take care of yourself allows you to then go out and do even bigger work. It's, it's why they say on airplanes, right? Take, put your mask on yourself first before somebody else. And I think we're really realizing that, again, this is a very tough point. But even moving forward beyond this, the, the ability to take care of ourselves is not something we can just push aside uh, any longer. And, and I think the people that really can kind of recognize that and, and find whatever tools works for them. I don't think there's one path to doing this, but that's, instead of just saying, hey, it's all about attitude, we now have the ability to talk about how to improve the attitude and how to, how to take care of that resource, which is our mental and emotional health. And I, I think that's actually a good thing that's come out of this pandemic. Yeah, I, I, you know, we always talk about the imp importance of attitude that is emanated from the, from the salesperson to the prospect and how important that is. But, you know, I think, and that's critical, but man, keeping, making sure that we are managing our own inf internal fire and our own internal uh, balance is, is critical, as you just said. So thank you for that reminder, because mm -hmm. whatever we need to do, I, I exercise, um, and uh, hopefully, as you said, it does both mind and, and, and spirit. So, uh, D. Fish, one last question. We're going to post this on LinkedIn. I know you're a big fan of how sellers can leverage LinkedIn as a tool. Remind me why why you think it's so effective, and how and what and any ideas that we can do to encourage people. Yeah. So go back to our conversation about not meeting people in person as much. How are we going to to you know bridge the 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 gap between us it's going to be digitally and one of the things that linkedin does and it has done i mean i've been you know banging on this drum for about 12 years now is that it gives us as sellers uh, an opportunity to share our story the way we want it to be shared meaning if somebody's like hey i'm going to talk to this joe flanagan guy i've got a meeting on my calendar who is this guy i'm going to go look look you up on linkedin Whatever you've put there is how is the frame that I'm going to use to view our relationship. And so it takes a little bit of time, not a lot, but, you know, looking at having a good profile, looking at engaging with your, your clients, your prospects, with your network on LinkedIn becomes a powerful way of, of framing who you are and how you are a resource. I always call it being a sales Sherpa, being a guide for your prospects and clients. You got to tell that story or they're not gonna be able to hear it, especially if you're not gonna meet them in person, maybe till well into your relationship. So uh, it's just such an easily accessible tool that kind of we've all agreed to, to meet in this online space called LinkedIn, makes sense to leverage it. And you can control it, right? I mean, you can control that message. Exactly. You know, and that's, that's uh, something that um, so many other tools in the World Wide Web, we can. So, D. Fish, yep. thank you for your thoughts. Thank you for your time, your friendship, and um, um, I will hope to see you before the new year. If not, um, you know, we'll, see, we'll 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 get together soon. And thanks again, and make it a great day. Absolutely, thank you.